Hello everyone, what's up and welcome back to Hello Mendix. My name is Ryan Maki and this is how to import data from an Excel sheet into your Mendix app. To start off, my app has had some work done to get it to this point. I set up some basic navigation for my user and administrator user roles, as well as I've enabled my project security and set it to production. Finally, I have an entity in my domain model called data import and it has all the same attributes as the fields in this Excel sheet. The first thing I'm going to do is head to the marketplace inside of Studio Pro. There, I'm going to search for the Excel importer module and I'm going to download it into my project. Select add as a new module, click import and OK to confirm. Next up, we're going to search for the MX model reflection module, and we're going to do the same. Once your modules have finished downloading, we need to allow the administrator user role access to these modules. So let's head over to security and to the user roles tab, and open up the administrator user roles. Next, under module roles, we're going to expand marketplace modules and Excel importer and the MX model reflection. So he needs to be the configurator for the Excel importer and the model administrator for model reflection. You can also give your user access to these as read only. Next up, our administrator actually needs access to the pages inside of these modules. So we have to set up some navigation for him to reach it. Let's head to our navigation and we're going to add two new navigation items here. One for the Excel importer. Use the import glyphicon. And that is going to show a page. And the page we want to show is the Excel importer overview. Next up, we're going to add a navigation item to our MX model reflection page. We'll use the refresh logo for that. And we're going to show a page and that is going to be the MX objects overview. Now we can deploy our app. And once it's running, we need to log in as an admin and do some configurations. Once your app is running, you can log in as an admin. And if you're testing locally, you can just use MX admin password one. Once you're logged in, we're going to navigate to the model reflection page. Here, we need to synchronize the domain model data from the module where we want our Excel sheet data to be stored. In my example, it's my first module. Select your module and say, click to refresh. Remember, we need to tell the app where we want the Excel data to be stored. In order for that to work, it needs to be able to tell which entities and attributes it has access to in its own domain model. MX Model Reflection is able to read your app's metadata and store that information in the database for you to see at runtime. Now we need to go to the Excel Importer page where we need to create a template. The app needs a template to tell it how to map the data from the Excel file to which fields in your database. Now that we have access to our app's metadata, we can create a template which tells the app where we want the data to be stored. You can either create a new template from scratch, or if you have an Excel file to work from already, you can just say new template from Excel file. Under Excel file, browse and look for your file. Click save and next. The first thing I'm going to do is give my template a name and I'm going to name it data import for this example. A description you don't need to add, but Mendix object is important. Here, we're telling it which table we want it to be stored in. So we want it in our data import, click select. Import action, uh, you can leave it as synchronized for this, but there are others. So you can synchronize only existing objects and ignore others, create an object for each row, or only create not existing object. Um, I'm going to leave it on synchronized. Uh, and then you need to match your columns from the Excel sheet to the columns in your entity. So if you want, you can do this manually or you can just connect matching attributes if they're named the same thing. Before we click save, we need to define a key. And for that, I'm just going to use their email address as the key. Finally, click save. 
Once you're happy with your template, you can go to import files, select new, uh, select the template we created just now as data import. And then we're going to upload the random generated data file that I have. Click save, and then just select the file and click import. 100 records have been imported. Let's go see if that worked. If I did everything correctly, if I log in as a user, I should see all the data I imported on the home page. Fantastic, it worked. If anything goes wrong, check your logs for error messages, read up about the module on our docs pages, or ask the community for help on our forum. Good luck, until next time, this is Hello Mendix.